Security very tight as suspects were brought into court to face charges in connection with two deadly shootings that Hamilton police say are related. The first, one person was killed and seven injured when bullets flew at Devil's Nightclub. And days later, during the funeral for the person who died, there was another deadly shooting at drive-by on Central Avenue in the middle of the afternoon. Orlando Gilbert and Todd Burris were killed. Judge Greg Stevens said he knew it would be an emotional day right. for the families of the victims and the accused. Michael Grievous faces charges in both shootings. He pled not guilty to aggravated murder and felonious assault. The judge set bond for him at $5 million. He also faces the possibility of the death penalty if convicted. Bond was the same, $5 million for Tony Petit. Eight deputies had to be called into that courtroom when he faced a judge. He's charged in the murder for hire case on Central Avenue. He also faces the possibility of the death penalty. And a $5 million bond also set for Zachary Harris, who prosecutors say took part in the murder for hire on Central Avenue. Harris could also get the death penalty if convicted. And another person facing charges for the Central Avenue double murder is Melinda Gibby. She's also charged with two counts of capital murder. Her bond, $5 million as well. Also in Butler County Court today, Roderick Curtis. He's charged with felonious assault stemming from the Doubles nightclub shooting. And Mondale Goins is also charged with felonious assault related to the Doubles nightclub violence. His brother, Khalif Goins, died in the Doubles shooting. Police initially charged Goins with murder, but the grand jury indicted someone else. Goins' bond is $500,000. And the final suspect in the doubles bar shooting is Corey Cook. He also had bonds set at $500,000 for felonious assault. A Hamilton